Look at that face. So last video, I actually told you guys that earlier in the week, I'd actually ordered some fish for the living room tank. And I got those guys yesterday, and yeah, I got home pretty late last night and really did not feel like filming. So I just like filmed me, put them, them into the tank. That was pretty much it. Those fish are called Earth Eaters, though. Now, why are they called Earth Eaters? Well, you can see in the video right here, this is one of them at the store, actually, just kind of picking off in the gravel. That is exactly why they get the name Earth Eater. They just kind of go around in the sand or whatever substrate you have in the tank and just kind of pick off stuff that's in, you know, the substrate. They do better in tanks with sand, and the tank that I put them in does have sand in it. But the real name is Geophagus, and there's many different types of them, but the specific kind that I got are called Geophagus Brasiliensis. Yeah. It's a pretty long name, but that's what they are. And they're actually one of the more larger species. Now, these guys, the males get up to about 11 to 12 inches or so, with the females only getting about half that size. This is a picture of a full-grown right here, and you can see they get pretty decent size with a lot of color in them. Now, the ones I got, they're not very big right now, so they don't have a whole lot of color, but they definitely are some really, really cool fish, and I can already see some of the little blue speckles starting to come in on their face. Now, when I put them in the tank last night, uh, the blue car was not very happy at all, let me just say that. And he's still not very happy with them, but he's starting to get more used to them and surprisingly even the little round that's in there was even kind of chasing them around too which was very surprising to me and they're not very aggressive fish either so like if you had a, a cichlid aggression scale and you had like rams is like the least aggressive and like blue cars in the middle and then like green terrors and midas and stuff like that on the end they would fall somewhere right around the blue cars so yeah they've been doing great in the tank overnight and everything and the, like i said the blue car and the ram are starting to really kind of get used to them now and kind of leave them alone and they're not skittish at all like i've been walking right into the tank and they haven't been spooking like not one bit so i'm gonna go throw some bloodworms in the tank and uh, let's see if they eat them or not. Alright, so I'm just going to drop this little chunk of bloodworms in here. And oh, oh, look at him, look at him. One of them's already coming up here. It's like he already knows he's about to get fed. So we're just going to drop that in there, try not to spook him. Alright, let's see. Oh, 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 there he goes. Look at this. So one of them is eating. This is a little bit more bigger and dominant one. But that is definitely really, really good that that guy is eating. And it's actually starting to color up a lot more now that he's been in the tank for a day. Look at that guy though. Just kind of go around, you know, not eating a whole bunch, but just kind of go around and just picking off the free floating blood worms. But yeah, he's eating, so uh, that is definitely really, really good to see. Well, look at this, the other one's coming out. He's probably about to get him some. Oh, yep, got him one right there. The bigger guy's actually starting to eat quite a bit now. He's starting to eat just about every single one he can find. Look at him, look at him. Got that one. This guy, he's just got, still kind of wandering around. This has been the one that's been hiding a lot more. But he did come out and get a few, so that's definitely really good. And I told you guys about the Electra Blue Jack Dempsey's, how one of them like doubled in size compared to the other one, how I got them at the same size and everything. Well, guess what? That has happened with these two Cynodonis cats right here as well. That little one right there has not grown all that much. He's grown some, but not that much. But I got these guys the same exact size a few months ago, and you can see one of them has doubled in size compared to the other one, if not tripled by now. You can see that one is almost as big as the biggest one right there. And if you're new here and don't know about the Electra Blue Jack Dempsey's, we're here they are right here. That's the biggest one right there. And there's a smaller one, and just like the Cynodonis cast I just showed you guys, these guys were the same exact size when I got them a few months ago, and one of them has now doubled in size compared to the other one. It's pretty pretty crazy. And the big guy just has some absolutely beautiful blue in him. Look at that. Just amazing. I mean, the sunlight really does bring it out a lot more. Now, I also told you guys in the last video that I'd order some sand for this tank right here behind me, and that I was going to be rescaping and all that, and just making it look a whole lot better. Well, get this. So, I'm just chilling in my living room on my phone, and I look up, and I see the FedEx truck coming down my driveway, and I'm expecting that, you know, he's got the package and all. By the time I get to the front door, this dude has turned around and is going back out of the driveway. All right, no, and keep in mind, I have a pretty long driveway, so he's not just going to turn on the driveway for anything if he doesn't, you know, have a package. So the dude came down the driveway and then turned back out and did not drop the package off. So I don't know where the sand is and all the stuff that I'd order for that tank, but, uh... I didn't get it. It's been a minute since you guys have seen the salt shells. There's the biggest one right there. And the little one is right back there just chilling in the sand. He's probably taking himself a little quick power nap. And then he'll come out of the sand and probably go ham on that shrimp that I just threw in there. But yeah, that guy's kind of checking me out right now. And once he sees that shrimp and smells it, he is going to go right after it. Look at that face. I'm just backed up. This guy's just staring me down. Look at him. Look at that mean looking little face he's got. Oh, oh. He's coming out. Here he comes. 
Watch, he's gonna get that first bite of shrimp and he is gonna go crazy. Usually you guys get to see the little one coming out and eating and everything, but uh, today he's just taking himself a nap, I guess. Fish and turtles in this pond are looking and doing really, really good. You can see them all swimming around and everything. I actually had to add that 400 watt heater over there because it got pretty dang cold for these guys and uh, they're very, very active now. It's pretty warm today anyways, but gonna go and drop some pellets and flakes in for these guys. And you'll see the big yellow koi come up and start eating as well. And look at them go. Just turns into an all-out frenzy. And you can see that thing that's coming up and hitting and splashing at the top of the water. That's actually the creek chub. But look at all those guys. And once it starts to warm back up, I'm going to add more mollies and platies in here. Uh, but for now, I think this is going to probably be where the pond's at as far as fish. But you can see the yellow koi right there coming up. Look at that guy. Looking and doing really, really good in here. And there's actually one of the little bitty koi right there. Look at him. It's doing really, really good in here. It's about the same size as the platies right now. But that guy is definitely going to grow quite a bit in here. But yeah, all the fish in here are looking and doing really, really good. But that is going to be pretty much it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We got some new Earth Eater stick list for the living room tank. It's going to be doing really good in there. You know, starting to really get used to the fish that are in there. If there's any videos they want me to do, definitely let me know. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you want to see. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.